Hi, in this video we will show you how to avoid the noise caused by mode change when using bug boost converters. My name is Milos Szczanski and I'm an application engineer at Texas Instruments. Bug boost converters are often used when the voltage of your power supply can be higher, equal or lower than the voltage required for your application. This is often the case with batteries. Here we have a typical discharge profile of a lithium-ion battery. Let's assume you need a 3.6 volt supply for your application. To obtain this fixed supply voltage, you can use a 4-switch non-inverting buck boost converter. This is basically a buck and a boost converter sharing the same inductor. As the battery gets discharged and the voltage decreases, the converter automatically switches between different operating modes. When the input voltage is higher than the output voltage, the buck side is active while the boost side is in bypass mode. When the input voltage is lower than the output voltage, the boost side is active while the buck side is in bypass mode. When the input voltage is close to the output voltage, the converter can operate in third buck boost mode where both buck and boost sides are active. This is done to avoid extreme duty cycles and to increase the efficiency. There are different switching patterns in buck boost mode as well as different ways to transition from one mode to another. Here we have an older device where in buck boost mode the device alternates between buck and boost switching cycles. The exact number of buck or boost cycles is to some extent random, depending on input and output voltages and currents. Moreover, usually there is a sharp boundary between different operating modes. For example, let's assume we start with a charged battery and the converter operating in buck mode. As the battery discharges and the battery voltage reaches the boundary voltage between buck and buck boost mode, the converter starts alternating between the modes in an uncontrolled way. This mode change can cause voltage oscillations on the output side, which in turn can cause interference in the rest of your system. This behavior can be even more pronounced if there are low transients which affect the input and output voltage. Here we have a new buck boost device, the TPS63802, which operates in a defined 4 cycle buck boost mode when the input voltage is close to the output voltage. In this mode, the RMS current through the switches and the inductor is kept to a minimum, minimizing switching and conduction losses. Controlling the switches in this way allows the converter to achieve high efficiency over the whole input voltage range. Moreover, in this device there is a hysteresis in mode transitions, preventing small changes in operating conditions to cause mode oscillations that we just saw in case of the older device. Let's assume the same scenario we did for the conventional device. Here with TPS 63802, as soon as mode is changed, the device stays in new mode, despite the further changes caused for example by voltage oscillations or low transients. This means you have clean mode transitions with all switches operating in a defined 4 cycle mode, without oscillations between buck and boost mode. To conclude, when compared to the conventional device, the TPS 63802 has a defined 4 cycle operation in buck boost mode which maximizes the conversion efficiency of the whole input voltage range. Moreover, mode change with hysteresis leads to well-defined operating modes and cleaner mode transitions. This means there is less chance for harmful interference to occur in your system. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about TI bug boost devices, visit ti.com or e2e. You can find all the links in the description of this video.